Hey kids, I'm Rocket. I'm a tornado expert. I want you all to know that I care about your safety and I care about you too. That's why I'm really excited to be here with you today. Oh yeah. And today we're going to talk about how to stay safe during a tornado. And after this lesson, you're going to be a tornado expert just like me. Before we get started, I want us to review the five things you should know in any emergency, like a tornado. So I want you to give me a big thumbs up if you're ready to learn with me. Fantastic, here we go. You should always be prepared. This means you can make a first aid kit and have food and water for all emergencies and help your parents come up with a plan to get you to safety. Always stay calm so you can make better decisions. You won't be able to remember the plan when you aren't calm. I know I find it hard to remember things when I'm not calm. So remember to make a safety plan with your parents so you know what to do in an emergency. And stay in your safe meeting place until your parents or help arrives. This is where you can safely wait until a firefighter or first responder comes to get you. If you don't wait, they may not know where to find you, so follow your plan and stay in your safe meeting place. And make sure you know how to dial 911. If someone is hurt and nobody is around, it's time to call for help. You can dial 911 or yell, I need help. And remember, in an emergency, you should always use your six senses to keep you safe and aware of things around you. Your eyes and your ears will help you stay safe and stay away from all of the danger. Great job learning more about what you should do in an emergency. Now, I want to talk about how to stay safe in a tornado. Now raise your hand if you've ever heard the word tornado before. Nice, okay, now raise your hand if anyone has seen a tornado. Wow, that's a lot of you. You know, I've seen one too. That's why I know that tornadoes are nature's strongest and most dangerous storms. The winds spin at very high speeds. And when tornadoes touch the ground, the powerful winds can destroy homes, even move cars, and it can injure people. I really want you to stay safe, so it's important to prepare your home for a tornado. Here's a few things that you should do before the tornado. You need to make a list with your parents of things to bring inside, like your bike, chairs, and even a rake. Pick up things from your yard that can be thrown and cause injury to you or damage. Remove weak branches from trees that might break and hit your home or cars. Strengthen garage doors and shutter windows with protection to stop the windows from breaking and hurting you. But your parents can help you with that. It's also really important for you and your parents to find a safe place in your home to go during the tornado. You need to go to a basement or go to the lowest floor, but never stay in a room with windows. You also need to have a lot of supplies ready. Your parents can help you prepare a tornado kit for you and for your pets too. Always bring the tornado kit with you to your safe place in case you have to leave your house. These kits should include a flashlight and batteries, bottled water, a radio and a phone, and a whistle too. It should also include extra clothes, your glasses, food, and medicine. And remember to bring a leash and food for your pet too. Make sure you listen to your local radio station or TV station for the latest information to keep you and your family safe and listen for alerts. Tornadoes are very dangerous and you don't wanna be outside. 
a lot of things are blowing around and can cause serious injury to you. If you happen to be outside during a tornado, remember to do these things to stay safe. Get inside the closest building. And if you're in a car with your parents, get below the windows and cover your head with your hands and a blanket. If you live in a mobile home, you should not stay there during a tornado. The strong winds are too powerful and can cause a lot of damage to your mobile home. So if you have to leave your home, grab your tornado kit and make sure that you and your family have chosen a safe place away from your home before the storm comes, like a tornado shelter. Be really careful if you are in your car because a lot of roads can be damaged or dangerous during the tornado. After the tornado, there is going to be a lot of damage and dangerous areas that can hurt you. So remember, do not touch any fallen power lines and stay away from damaged buildings. Listen to the news with your parents so you know when it's safe to go outside or go home. And if you have a real emergency, like someone is hurt and needs help, make sure you call 911. And remember to always stay calm during and after a tornado so you can make better decisions. That was a fantastic job and you all did such a great job today. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Now my friends, before I go, I think we need to say my rocket tornado safety promise. So I want everyone out there to raise their hands and repeat after me. I promise to be prepared so I can stay safe in a tornado. That was fantastic, everyone. Now don't forget, I care about your safety and I care about you too. So until I see you next time, here's my rocket howl. Ow, ow, ow! That was fantastic. I want us all to howl together on the count of three. One, two, three. Ow, ow, ow! Now stay safe and I'll see you soon.